What's going on you guys? I have another HP ZBook. This is the Power G7 model. I'm gonna look at it. It's actually pretty nice. It's got an Intel Core CPU here, back of the keyboard. Uh, I do like it. I do recommend it. If you guys want to get the same one, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy online. So I'm gonna close this back, turn around like this. And I'll remove the screws here, three in the bottom, two in the top. here in the left corner and one in the right corner so you're gonna lift this up like this Basically, the way it comes out, I cover it. You're gonna take your finger like this gently. And I'm gonna lay it down. Uh, first, I'm gonna do, guys, don't forget, is gonna, you're gonna disconnect the battery. Here's the connector right here in the corner. So you gotta be really careful gently. You're gonna disconnect it. Now what I'll do is take a Phillips screwdriver and I'm just going to remove the screw here for the SSD. I'm going to upgrade guys, this is the 2 terabytes, 2280 M.2 NVMe. Now you guys can see. Okay. Uh, the you basically guys can upgrade four terabyte per each. Right here has two of them in slots you can install. So four terabytes you can do each. So you can go eight terabytes and 32 gig per each slot for the RAM. So you can max out 64 gigs. It's actually nice. I do recommend if you guys have a lot of store, a lot of pictures or videos, then just go with the four terabytes. Probably two terabytes ain't gonna be enough. Probably just go four terabytes. And I might add one more stick. 16 gigs, so it'll be 32 gigs of RAM total. And I'll do the last part is connect back the battery. Don't forget, right here in the corner, back to the motherboard. That's complete. And I'm gonna take a brush, and just to brush the back side. Same with the laptop. And this is a mobile workstation. I do like it. So I'm just gonna. So the way you're gonna install it back, the back cover is you're gonna go like this. You see that? Align it. The back. With two screws here, you're gonna install like that. You have to align it. So don't forget, this is the the back side right here. You have to line it like that and close it. The top one you can't do it. You got to do the back side first. Install back the screws here. One in the corner. And one here in the top. 
like that. Put it out. Okay, let's see it like that. And be the last screw here in the corner, left corner. Complete. And guys, so don't forget, if you guys don't have a Phillips screwdriver, the exact size, I do recommend you guys buying the set right here. They sell this online, the bit set. I'll put a link in the description, you guys can buy it. It's pretty nice. And it closes like that. And also to uh, in reinstall Windows, Windows 11 Pro, I'll put a link in the description. I already made a video, a similar model, and you guys can watch it. See you guys at this being the video. Let me should turn it on, let's see. I should have turned it on. Yeah, it's all set. So guys, to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Bye.